My name is Eamon. I'm 12 years old, and I was diagnosed with ADHD. That was a, a tough pill to swallow because it's like, okay, what are the solutions out there? And, and there's, it seems to be no solutions. There's uh, medication seems to be the one that everybody seems to push, and, and it was really not something that we were comfortable doing. So. We tried everything. We took them over to the States and we tried different treatments over there. Spent a lot of money and had no success. Um, and after a long time and a lot of struggles, we decided to put them on medication. It was really hard for me to concentrate and I was like failing my classes. It was not good. We were on medication for a while and it like changed my personality a bit. And I really didn't like that. Some things that I would I would do because of ADHD, I would like always be making noises or like tapping or like something to make noise like all the time, and that kind of drove everyone crazy. So <laughs> yeah, I tried to stop that. So then I would like start like making like facial like expressions. Like I would make my eyes really big all the time. The medication stopped like the noises and all that, but for some reason the medication was actually the reason that it gave me my facial expression type things. It was kind of a side effect. I would say the medication uh, maybe increased his focus slightly. I, I wouldn't even say it was a great improvement. But the problem is then once you're on the medication, it appears that it does things to you and then when you try to take them off, because we didn't want to leave them on it, we thought, well, we could go on for a while, take them off it. But as we would take them off, we would see his facial tics and things like that that he had developed would get worse. So we're like, we better put them back on, you know. So this was our struggle for a long time. So friends of ours had a concussion. They had gone to see Dr. Lemo, and they recommended that uh, we take him in and take a look because he does ADHD and stuff. So. Uh, we were willing and hoping to try anything. We prayed a lot about it and, and wanted an answer to, to fix him. And because we know the, the long-term problems with this, how kids slip through the cracks. The one thing I appreciate about the doctor was right away, he was like, okay, if you do what I say, I can help you. If I can't help you, I'll tell you. I was like, good. <laughs> how often do you hear that, right? So, so I, I appreciated that. So we got started on the the treatments, and uh, within a short amount of time, we could see a difference. We went to Dr. Lemo's office, and he started saying all these exercises to do, and like they were hard to do because like, it would take time out of my day to do them, and I wouldn't like sometimes I'd be hanging out with my friends, and I wouldn't want to go do them, but. I started to realize that in the long run, that would definitely, it did help me. And I started to like not make any facial expressions or any noises. And I was, I was definitely able to concentrate more and I got a lot more work done. We were not going to get our hopes up too much, but we were certainly going to do what he says. So we were on Eamon four times a day. Like he said earlier, he didn't like it. But they were not hard exercises as in very taxing. It wouldn't drain him like he had to take a nap or anything. So it was very much doable, right? We'd have to keep upgrading my exercises, I guess, for my brain because my brain would, like, start to get to, like, it would strengthen my brain, but then it would, reach the max learning point for that exercise. So then it would be like no big deal. So then we'd have to upgrade it, make it harder. And that kept helping. And I just kept getting stronger and stronger in my con. The changes in him today is unbelievable. The, the focus, he's getting his work done in school. He's not a dis distraction to his class, which was a big problem before because when you're not focused, then you get bored, then you get in trouble, and then you get a reputation, right? And uh, so this change was, was incredible. It made, a, it made a huge... Eamon doesn't appreciate 
the life change that has happened. You know, this Dr. Lemo is five minutes from my house. And I spent these years looking for a cure, medication, everything, and he was just around the corner. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, really. And uh, we're so grateful. We really are.